Wow, you arrived just in time. Come on over here. Hey, Claire. Didn't expect to see you here. How's business? Not great. I thought I'd be able to take it easy here. Start writing this history of the world before Starfall that I'd been planning. But instead... What? Did you just arrive at the Tall Grass Inn? You haven't heard the rumors about the Silent Beast? Silent Beast? No, I just got here. But whatever animal we're talking about can't be that bad compared to... You ever hear of an animal that can appear out of nowhere in locked rooms in the middle of a stronghold and then steal people away without anyone noticing? No, I guess I haven't. Well, you have now. They call it the Silent Beast because it comes and goes without a trace. This thing's no ordinary animal. It could... It could even be a great one. I mean, has anybody actually seen this animal? It could just be an urban legend. The disappearances are real enough, and whatever's taking people seems to prey on the elderly. And once it runs out of those, it might start hankering for a middle-aged merchant instead, know what I mean? <sighs> but someone must be doing something about it. What about the leader here? Oh, that's a whole other story. Sums off about that guy. No matter how many people disappear, he just pretends nothing's wrong. Really? If you want, you can ask him about it yourself at the management building. His name's Klein. I already tried talking to him, but the jerk just chased me off. You're a mayfly. That's right. Is your name Klein? I heard you're the mayor of the Tall Grass Inn. I am? What do you want? I heard rumors about a silent beast here. Sounds like there's something strange going on, and I think I'm well equipped to... Don't bother, we're fine. So, you don't believe what people are saying about this silent beast? There has been a few disappearances over the past six months, that's all. They probably just left. All this stuff you might hear about some creature breaking in without anyone noticing its bunch of bull. People get bored and scared, start making up crap. But people have disappeared, right? Why stir up trouble? There's all kinds of things out there. We could end up drawing the attention of deviants, or even worse, a great one. It's like if you're out hunting. You're not gonna charge after a bear that could kill you. Now better to leave it be. And I hope it leaves you alone too. So, you're saying these rumors aren't true, but you're also too scared to investigate. Are your people really okay with this? Listen, I'm not scared. I'm smart. And the people here, they just want to keep their heads down and live in peace. If you go poking around and get killed by a great one, you could bring disaster down on all our heads. All right, have it your way. Hey, Mayfly. Yeah? Uh, welcome to the Tallgrass Inn. As long as you're here as a regular traveler, you're welcome to stay and share what we have. 
Just don't worry about all the silent beast business, okay? How can the people here accept a leader who just ignores it when one of them disappears? Humans tend to prefer comforting lies to hard truths, especially when it's other people who do the dying. So what? We should just put up with it? I mean that it doesn't matter to us how he behaves. I suspect there's a great one here, and we don't need his permission to challenge it. People reconcile themselves to power. If you show enough of it, they'll support you instead of the mayor here. Kind of a disturbing worldview you got there, V. Anyway, why don't we see if Claire has anything else she can tell us? At least her head seems screwed on right. So, did you talk to the mayor? Yep, you were right. Something's off about that guy. He kept saying nothing was wrong, but then also insisted I shouldn't look into it. You see, I told you something strange was going on here. I'm starting to suspect there might even be a great one involved. I'd better look into the problem before things get worse. You've got a big heart, you know that? Just like in Deadsville, I'll see who I can put you in touch with here. Not everyone's playing as dumb as Klein. I'll also see if I can raise some funds. You deserve something for helping us, especially if a great one is behind this. Thanks, Claire. But what I really need is just more info on this so-called silent beast. Well, maybe check out the Sequoia Campgrounds to the northwest of here. Keep going for a while, and it's on the other side of the ridge. What's up with the campgrounds? Did the Silent Beast strike there too? Ugh, honestly, I don't really know. I just know that the locals here act all weird about it. Anytime I ask people if there are any artifacts in the mountains to the northwest, well... They always get nervous and refuse to say anything else. But I found an old map showing that there's a campground in the mountains there. And I found out a few years ago the people at the Tall Grass Inn were using it as a logging camp. But for some reason they abandoned it. Huh. What's with that look on your face? You know, Claire, you really have a nose for information. If you ever decided to deal in intelligence instead of selling artifacts, you'd be set for life.
blow you sky high. <laughs> oh, hey. Are you you first who are you and what do you want look just tell me what were you doing here just now I was investigating that trap you set now I'm trying not to get killed by you that's what is that a cradle yeah wait you have one too you're a mayfly could it be I'm not the only one I'm Ron. I haven't been a Mayfly long, but I've been hired by the Furutake group out west to take care of a so-called silent beast here. Weird. Uh, same for me. I became a Mayfly not long ago, too. I was hired to deal with the silent beast for the Tall Grass Inn. Huh. Do you also have amnesia by any chance? How did you know? Uh -huh. I think we have a lot we need to talk about. <laughs> Agreed, but I don't think this is the place. You said you were also investigating the Silent Beast, right? Did you find anything? Have you been to the campgrounds? There's some sort of twisted altar there. Whatever's happening, it's not just a great one or a deviation. Humans are involved. I looked it over. I found at least three sets of footprints, so there must have been more than one murderer. But the same knife and stroke were used to kill every victim, so I also think there's just one main perpetrator. Wow, you're really a pro at this. I also found some very strange things that look like human figures cowering in fear. Do you have any idea what they could be? Hmm... Maybe this thing called Fallen Prey? I've heard that sometimes a Great One triggers panic in its prey, and the panic actually becomes a physical substance. Something created by the influence of a Great One? I have a feeling this might come in handy. Oh, are you thinking... An isotope. You've used something like this before against a Great One, haven't you? <laughs> we really need to get a drink together when this is all done. I didn't think there was anyone else out here like me. But first, can you deal with the fallen prey? My territory is pretty far from here, and it would take me a while to rush back or move my workbench. Yeah, 
That's no problem. So, about this Great One... Let's deal with it together. If we're both targeting it, there's no reason we can't help each other out, right? Why don't you make the isotope of thirst while I head back to the Furutake group for more supplies? They promised me before that if I could find the Silent Beasts, they'd provide enough weapons and ammo for me to take it on. Sounds good. The Great One must be entrenched in this area's monolith. Let's meet there. of a vulture gang? Sounds about right. Better to ask what he didn't do. This f the crimes named on this bounty are only a fraction of what he's done. Uh, just in time. We need your help. No! I already said we don't need any mayflies here. Aren't you busy running Meyer's Market? What brought you here? I came to try and talk some sense into my ex-husband. A few days ago, a caravan brought word of some beast stealing people away in Tall Grass Inn, and a certain fool who wasn't willing to do anything about it. Now you watch your mouth, Maxie. I'm the mayor here. Oh, you and your damn ego. It was one thing when our marriage was the only thing at stake, but now an entire settlement is depending on you. If this so-called Silent Beast is really a great one, then you know it's only a matter of time before it destroys you all. You need someone to take it down. This may fly. Shut down the monolith we had near Meyer's Market and kill the Great One inside. I didn't even think it could be done. Let's just give it a try. This beast everyone's going on about is just a goddamn rumor, right? Even if it were real, and were a great one, then I could handle it myself. We don't need outsiders poking into our business here. This conversation's over. Can't believe I used to be married to that man. Yeah, it's hard to imagine you as Mrs. Klein. I never gave up my name, thank God. Ten years ago, I was a rookie physician sent to the Tall Grass Inn to deal with an outbreak of scarlet fever. And there was this handsome young hunter here. Klein used to be so dashing, so spirited, so brave. <laughs> this closed off, paranoid, angry coward you see today is a totally different man. We lived here together in Tall Grass Inn for a few years. It was nice. Better than nice. And then Klein had to go and hunt that damn beast. Wait a minute. The beast? The same one that first appeared here a few months ago? Yep. Back then, Klein also met up with a mayfly. And the two of them put a team together to take care of this mysterious threat. They set off all cocky and enthusiastic, but Klein was the only one who came back. So, everyone else died? Even the mayfly? That's right. Klein came back all cut up, scarred from the beast. He told us how they managed to drive the beast away, but he was the only one who survived the battle. Despite the cost, the people here were so relieved the beast was gone that they chose Klein as their new leader. And that was when he became a stranger to me. He became bitter and angry, acting like Tall Grass Inn was his personal property and refusing to accept any dissent, I decided to walk away. And even after all that, the beast returned. As soon as I heard about it, I rushed over. I'm glad you came to Tallgrass Inn, too. Klein may be a stubborn ass, but I'm asking you to help out anyway. You can't do this alone. Klein's changed. The Tallgrass Inn has changed. But... I... 
I still feel for everyone here. If you can help the people here like you helped us in Meyer's Market, I'll pay you out of my own pocket, all right? Family disputes now. That's some good hearing you've got, Claire. Man, yeah, I never would have guessed Maxie and Klein were married. Hey, if I don't know what's going on, I won't be able to scrounge up any business. Speaking of which, found yourself any other sponsors for this Silent Bee situation? Yep. Her ex might be pretending there's no problem, but Maxie's willing to pay for my help. Hey, if she's hiring you to take out this beast, then maybe I don't have to go around raising funds. Nah, I'd feel bad if I didn't pay what I promised. If I'm still at the tall grass inn after you take care of this problem, come back here and I'll add a bonus to whatever Maxie's giving you, all right? I'm okay, really. Maxie's offering me a decent amount, and I feel like the people around here are already facing enough trouble. Well, when life's this hard, anything that makes it easier is worth paying for. Especially when you're risking your life to help. A lot of times it feels like this world is lost to us, you know? Compared to the power of the Great Ones, humanity doesn't seem to stand a chance. But at least we've got you. You do what we can't. And I want you to know I appreciate that, okay? Okay.